Welcome to Fetch the Goodness. I'm Amy and today's episode is all about how to plant your own garden. Hi boys and girls. Today is going to be an exciting adventure with taste testing. Have you ever had a taste test? going to do a taste test today. So things that you can grow in your garden, we're going to taste and see how good they are. First, I have to have a blindfold on. And now, I get to taste a certain type of food to see if I can guess it correctly. Can you guys help me?
These are blueberries, Amy. Hopefully they're not ready yet, but there's lots of blueberries on this tree. Amy, look what I found over here. Look at these tomatoes that are growing. We have a really great garden out here, Amy. They look like little bubbles. Yes, those are so awesome. Look over here, Amy, you have strawberries. They're almost ready. Wow, they look really good. I can't wait to eat one. Me either. See, you even have broccoli growing. Look at these leaves, they look great. You even have kale over here too, Amy. What about bananas, Auntie? Do they grow on trees? Did you know that a banana tree is not a tree at all? It never forms a wooden stem the way a tree does. So a banana is not actually a fruit. It is considered the world's largest herb. Bananas grow in large hanging bunches where a cluster is called a hand and a single banana is called a finger. <laughs> a finger? So right now we're looking for things that we can find in our own yard. So we have a rose bush and we're gonna get the rose petals. We are gonna make some rose water. So we just pick them off and get them ready so that we can clean them. I'm just shaking off the extra water. And now we're gonna put it on medium low. We're gonna put this on the stove, but you don't do it without mommy or daddy. We're gonna boil it for about 20 minutes, and whenever it starts boiling, we're going to put a lid on it. Rose water is a great cleanser and helps remove oil and dirt from your skin. It helps clean germs from scars and cuts. The smell of roses helps you to relax and helps you sleep. Rose water not only soothes a sore throat, you can put the petals in salads and desserts, smoothies and syrups. You can even make candied rose petals. I wanna thank Auntie Crystal for all the things that she taught us. It was amazing how much we learned. Thank you, Auntie. I want to thank Grady for writing in his question this week. He wants to know, how did God get to heaven? Isn't that an amazing question? So, Grady, I don't really know the answer to that. And I'm not sure that anybody really knows, except that the Bible tells us that God created the heavens and the universe, an amazing universe, and that he loves us so much that he wanted us to see the amazing stars and the planets, everything that is up there, he created. We know that he loves us very much. So he loves you, Grady. Thank you for submitting your questions to us. Boys and girls, if you have any questions for us to answer, please make sure that you submit them to 